welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to show you like what is the test ng annotations i have listed down here few test ng annotations and i will show you like these annotation in java program and also i will show what is the execution hierarchy of these annotations so let's start now i am going to open the eclipse and will show you some examples so this is Eclipse and now here I'm going to create one Java project. So let me create here. Java SNG. Click on finish. So one new project is created here. And let me add the GRE. Here GRE is already added. Let me add the GSNG library. Click on this. And finish apply okay SNG library is added here so this is normal java program java uh, project when we are going to create using the maven then we need to use the update the dependency so in that case we will not use the GR, java uh, test ng library let me create one java program here I am giving name simple test and package name is com.test. Click on finish. So, in any Java file, if I create any method like public while test one, right, and apply here annotation at the rate test then in that case test ng will automatically mark this as a test method and any method if we apply the at the rate test then test ng will consider that method as a test ng method as a test and when we apply this then if i right click go to the run as we will get the test ng if there is no annotation applied here Yeah, initially when the let me create one more java file you can see here i am not getting the run as test ng option but when i add the here at the rate annotation like this and import the you know class then we start getting here test ng test in that case we can run the test using the test ng annotation i am adding this so let me execute this now. Let me add here print. Test one. Here you can see this is run by uh, test ng and this is printed test one and we are also getting test run one failure zero skip zero right so we can add also here one more other test like suppose that i am going to add test two and this and printing this So here we are getting like uh, test one and test two. There are two tests where we applied the annotation at the red test and test ng consider both test as a test method that is also is test script. 
and uh, when i run this then you are you can see here i'm get, seeing like both test is executed if i created any normal method without using a notation like suppose that i am using here test 3 then in that case this test ball this test will not execute with the test ng test 3 why this will not execute because we have not applied any annotation here so only two test method will execute with test ng you can see here test 1 as well as the test 2 okay so other annotation there are before before method like i'm creating method here before method similar to the name notation printing here before method i can also call the similar type after method Now, if I run the test, uh, this Java file, before annotation, like this method will execute before running each any pre method. So there are two test ng method. So before method will execute before running test one and then after test, then it will also execute before running test two. Similar type after test method will execute after executing this, once this execution will complete, after method will call and execute and similar when this test will complete then after method will execute let me show you here and here console you can see after met before method test after method before method test after method and when then to test two so these are the like before and after annotation will not consider a test these are the prerequisite annotations that will execute before running each and every test and after method will execute after running after completing each test there are another annotation like before before class and similar type we have also after class Here before class and after class, before class run once, like before running any test in this class file. Similar type after class will execute at the end after the finishing the execution of the last test ng test. Test ng test means like these are the tests on which we have applied every test in notation. Let me execute and show you. Here you can see before class is executed first, then before method, and before method is running before each and every method. And after similar type after method will also executed here, is executed also here after running each test. But after class will execute at the end. Here after class is executed at the end of the class, means after the completing after method this will call and execute similar type we have another annotation that is known as the before test 
So there are a lot of confusions the before method as well as the before test. So both have the different different before test will execute before executing the before class and the after method after test will execute at the end means when the after before class will finish. If you don't have before class then in that case it will execute after running end of the last test maybe if you have before uh, after method that will execute first then after class if we have then after test will call let me show you here so before method is executing before running each and every method but before test will execute only once and this is executed like before running the before class here you can see before test executed once in hierarchy, this is executing before class, similar type after test will execute after the test class. I have here going to write one more annotation like uh, before suit. Similar type I we have also after suit okay now here I have added before suit as well as the after suit so when I run let me show you what is the order of execution. Here, like you can see, before suit is executed before running any test, any method, right? So this is on the top. This will execute first. This is also coming before uh, the test. And similar type, once the execution will complete and we will get the report, like here, you can see we are getting report. After that, after suit will call. That's why after suit is very helpful to sending the report because the report is generated before like uh, uh, running the after suit method. So we can call the some uh, utilities by using that we can send the report recently generated which after the execution we can send those report to the email ID. So on the hierarchy before suit will execute on the top on the first then a before test before class before method will execute before running each and every method and similar type in the down after method will execute before after running each and every method after class will execute then then after test and at the end after suit will execute thanks for watching the video we will uh, discuss more in, uh, test annotations uh, attributes in the coming next video thanks for watching the video